What is going on guys? It is Duke and welcome to another video here on the channel today. Of course, we're doing Rise of Kingdoms and that's right. As you can see right there behind me, that is the fog. That is the fog that we've kind of been uh, tiptoeing around for the last few months. It seems like maybe what, four months now we've been talking about this fog and uh, uh, it's pretty much been leaked out now by the devs that this fog is exactly where the Lost Kingdom battle will take place. It's pretty awesome. It's it's super epic. I'm super excited about it. We've been looking at this forever. Now, if you're kind of wondering where that fog is, if you never really uh, tuned in to uh, one of the videos that I did, uh, it has to do with the kingdom. Now, if you look over my shoulder here, this is a uh, globe, so it pretty much tells you all the kingdoms. So to get to that, all you got to do is uh, back yourself way out. So zoom your puppy all the way out, and then the globe comes there. You click on it, you push on that thing, and up comes the kingdom list. Now, as you can see right there, uh, everyone is kind of uh, subdivided into uh, continents. And uh, right now, I'm at Kingdom 55. Uh, those are my people. And uh, as you can see, there's eight. There is a group of eight kingdoms now. Uh, kind of picture a tic-tac-toe board. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And in the middle where, uh, if you're playing tic-tac-toe against me or anyone else, usually you would put you would start there with your X or your O right there in the middle. Well, let's bounce back out. And uh, in the middle of this, let's uh, roll up here. If we were to go right above the middle, and you would see that there is land there. And there is land there. There's Kingdom 55 right there, my home. And uh, we head down this way, a little bit further down. You can see this is a tic-tac-toe board. So, and right in the middle, it's been fog for eternity since uh, the game has started. So, uh, that is really where the um, Lost Kingdom will take place. So, once they give the green light, once um, the specific update hits, I'm not saying that it's going to be in the next update or not, but... Once it hits, the fog, I think, would maybe clear. You can teleport in. Now, uh, you're not going to be teleporting in alone because uh, there's going to be people from, or uh, governors, from other kingdoms. This, that's right. It's from the seven opposing kingdoms there. So, we have 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, and 56. And um, if I'm not correct, I think... Uh, as you can see, look way above my name there. That's Chisco. That or, or above my face, my fat face. That's Chisco right there. That is Governor Chisco, one of the most savage uh, YouTubers for Rise of Kingdoms. Probably, you know, one of the best. Super awesome, nice guy. Just great content. I personally love watching his videos. Uh, so insightful, so intelligent with the game. He, like I said, he, he's uh, he's not only king of his kingdom, he's also king of Rise of Kingdoms content creator. So, uh, but he's going to be rolling in there. So there there's a chance that uh, old uh, Duke here might be kind of running up on him. So uh, it's pretty interesting to see how it plays out. But hey, I'll take my guys over here in Kingdom 55. We got Aki right now as the king. These guys, I've been playing with them and battling them for uh, eternity and uh, they are they are some in insane great players so it's going to be really cool it's going to be exciting it's going to open up a whole new avenue to the game and uh, the gameplay just a different way of playing the game and uh, how you can go about it now uh, right now as we, as we know this is happening uh, it sounds like your kingdom uh, wherever you are wherever you happen to be you guys need to chill with with the fighting going at each other because you're going to need, it sounds like, a, you're going to need teleports, of course, to teleport in or out. You are going to need resources. You are going to need uh, strength, whether it's uh, your troops. You don't want our troops going away. You do not want to um, lose all that. So you're going to have to work hard. You're going to have to grind it out until this happens. So make sure that you guys have your, your set of uh, diplomats out there trying to keep things at peace in the kingdom because uh, you're going to need each other because all these kingdoms out there too, the opposing uh, seven kingdoms uh, that you've been got, that are in your continent are going to be doing the same thing. So it's going to be a battle from what I hear. There's going to be individual awards, there's, there's alliance awards, and there's also server awards. So of course over here in Kingdom 55, we want to be uh, the most uh, uh, insane, crazy boss-like kingdom out of the, out of the eight as possible. So 
that is super cool. I'm excited about it. So uh, let me know in the comments down below. How? What are you guys feeling about this? Are you guys excited? Are you guys a little nervous about it? Uh, are you saying this is a game changer? Now I know uh, I started playing Clash of Clans way back in the day before Clan Wars even came out, before they were a thing. I remember once Clan Wars came out, they changed the tide of the game. Uh, you had so many different people coming in. There was a new gameplay evolved about it. So this looks like it's going to be kind of like a seasonal event type of thing. So uh, I'm sure there's going to be some uh, tests on it. Some uh, bugs are going to be worked out. It's not going to be uh, you know a final product. And I'm sure it'll get better over time. So uh, it's pretty interesting. This this game is still a baby. It's still in the infancy stages. And I know that's something that I'm really excited about. It just getting in there from the get-go. Everybody's going to kind of be, uh, you know, tippy toe and just tip, uh, dipping their foot in the water. I'm sure some guys, I know some of the guys probably over in line in my kingdom, they're going to want to just dive in uh, head first and go at these guys. So we've been kind of battling each other for some time now. And it looks like uh, you're going to be able to uh, battle with each other to go in there for one common goal. It should be fun. It should be exciting. Um, like I said, I know uh, my boys over here in uh, CS, uh, you know, they handle themselves uh, very well. And it sounds like sometimes the boys over there in line, they're just, uh, they're kind of like Hannibal Lecter with their little face mask on. They want to go, they're kind of savage, and they want to get in there and fight and talk a whole bunch of uh, junk. And it sounds like this is going to be the way to do it. So I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, you know, there's so much going on. I haven't really got involved too much with the uh, with the updates and things like that. I've been trying to kind of just uh, uh, stand back, take it in, watch the other guys and see what they do. But this one, this one is going to be, like I said, a game changer. Exciting. I'm looking forward to it. I cannot wait to get in there and see what's going on. Uh, as we can see, a crew rolling back in there. That's JC. So you gotta get uh, you gotta get on the grind. You gotta get these commanders up and running. You gotta work hard. Maybe drop a few bucks, some shekels into the game if you need to get that Minamoto going. Get some of your boys up and rolling because it is time to be uh, the the survival of the fittest, survival of who's got the most uh, boss uh, commanders, troops, and you gotta know how to use them. So start working at it, and we will catch you guys later.